Hey guys, gonna make a quick video, kind of talk about NAT issues that I've been seeing. Uh, just kind of give everybody a heads up. Like two years ago in Madden, I could not get my NAT to stay open. I use AT&T Uverse gigabit router, so I get a thousand up, thousand down speed. So I had the best speed you could get, but I couldn't keep an open NAT. So when I was playing games like Madden, I'd get disconnects, I'd get crazy lag. Mm -hmm. It was it was bad. Um, and so I battled with this, trying to find the settings that would work, keep my ad open, looked online. There's a few good things. I'll try to post some links in the video of some of the things I found that helped me, but I'm going to kind of walk through what I did. And I believe recently, last few updates, they've made some things that make keeping your net a little easier. So I'm on the Xbox now. So let's just go, you go into your settings and you go here, my, you see all this, you go to network. Network settings is going to show you what your net is. So Right now, I'm fortunate my NAT is open. This isn't the Xbox that I've uh, done the open NAT that we're going to talk about on. It's another Xbox. One of the things I've... This is like the first time I've ever seen two open NATs this today. Honestly, I haven't checked in a while. Um, but the settings I'm going to talk about is a way to make your router open just for one of your Xboxes completely and make sure it always stays open. And I'll reset this in a minute and kind of show you. So you can do all kinds of things. So you can test your network connection. If you got a NAT and it says strict, if you click check networks, uh, what's odd is it'll say you're all good. Even if your NAT is strict, it'll say all good. And then you can test your multiplayer. Generally, this is new because it didn't do this before. It'll actually tell you what your NAT is and there's a new NAT type down below. Um, that wasn't there before. One of the things I would do on this, it seemed random, but I would hold... My right bumper, left bumper, or left trigger, right trigger while this was going on. And I, I think it does like a reset or something of your NAT because it would actually work and see. So I'm on my kid's Xbox right now, which is going through a switch. So we have this set up through our normal AT&T router that goes to a switch downstairs. And then the switch is wired up into the room. So it's hard. Actually, I think I had this on a Wi-Fi. Actually, this one's not plugged in hardwired because the PC is on it now. So, actually, this is just a Wi-Fi connection on my son's Xbox. The other Xbox I have is a um, hardwire. So you can see here, all good. Sometimes it'll say, "See, try refresh your NAT type." If you're still in trouble refreshing your NAT type, because this NAT will say strict. So you can test your NAT type. Let's see if I can. It's odd that it's open, but literally, I've fought for hours and hours on this thing. And I'll show you some of the tips that I do. My net is open right now. Um, what it'll do, I can get it to go to strict here in a minute. It'll actually tell you some things, but I'll show you both. Um, so now my net's open. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to restart the Xbox to see if I can get the net to go to strict. Strict. And you've already done some of the settings I'm going to talk about on the PC in a minute. Um you're going to want to uh, hard reset your Xbox where it comes up with that green screen. See how we just powered it down it didn't come up with the green screen? That really didn't do anything. So if my NAT was strict, it would stay strict. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it off. Okay, let's wait until it goes off here. Okay, now that's off. Not sure what it does. Yeah, see how that now that's doing a hard reset of your Xbox. So if you're stuck on a strict NAT that's one way to do it but I'll talk about some of the router settings in a little bit uh, that's the real thing that I believe helps keep your NAT open a couple of settings and, and this is on AT&T Uverse I gotta go look at my box number to see what it is but I'm using GigaPower I had one before and this setting seems to work on everything we'll see here it takes a little longer when you do the hard reset My mic is sensitive here. Okay, so now we're back up. Let's go look at the, the settings. Maybe we got a strict net. If we do, I'll walk through some, mm -hmm. of the, some of the things I do to get the net open. But literally, I, di I didn't think it's possible to have two Xboxes with open nets, but this morning I do. And it looks like it stayed that way. So maybe my settings I'm going to talk about here in a minute I actually show you. But we'll talk about, I wish it would go strict. I may hardwire it later to see if I can get a strict net in here.
to go through it. But making sure that NAT's open. If it says strict, you're going to disconnect. If it says moderate, you got about a 50 50 chance you're going to disconnect. So I would not play a game unless it says open NAT there. Uh, I don't even know. So, and you can do a detailed network statistics. I'm Wi Fi, so the stats aren't going to be that good. Um, let's see what they are on my Wi Fi. My Wi Fi has been really crappy lately. And this is my son's room, and he has a PC hardwired and not the Xbox. Um, generally, if he's playing online, I would flop, flip it, and plug the hardwired into the Xbox because you're always going to get better speed. All right, so while well, this is going, after this, you can see, yeah, 12 and 14. Not great. Not terrible. 86% wireless strength back here. He's kind of in a bunker in his room. Um, don't really play on this Xbox much. It's just I got my recording system set up in here. So what I'm going to do now is stop this portion, and we'll switch over to the PC and talk about some of the settings you can do. Uh, and you go to NAT type. Let's see if it does this real quick. We'll talk about it before it. I'll go to the PC to show you. If your NAT shows strict, it's going to come back telling you got a strict or a moderate NAT. And it, it'll say, try an alternative port. And it'll give you a number here. This is new. It didn't used to do this. This is in the last couple of updates. So what you're going to do if your NAT says strict and you do find alternative port, it's going to give you a digit number. could be between four digits and like eight digits. What you can do is leave your Xbox on, take that number, and then you can do what I'm going to do next on my PC. All right. I'll switch over. Hey guys, welcome to my uh, video again, going back to the internet. So if you go and you type in the number up there, the 194 up in the top left, that'll get you to your router. Uh, I'll put it in the link. You need to type that number in up top left there directly, and that'll get you to your router. And you can click on this NAT Gaming next. And you know it's going to ask for your password here. If you need your password, it's on your device on the bottom. It'll be access code. And you can see I've got all these Xbox One through Eight. These are like my old settings from prior Madden. So in the history, I went online. I found if you put these settings exactly like this, these numbers with the ports open like this, it'll be what you need. And I use Call of Duty, but now in the new Xbox, there's a setting for alternative. So if you get a strict NAT, it'll give you an alternative NAT. And uh, actually put these in. And since I've put the alternative NAT in, it'll actually give you the number. And the first one didn't go, it went stayed on strict. The second alternative NAT, the second time it opened and it stayed open and it, and it hasn't changed since. So these are how you do it. But let me show you how to create one of these. So the bad news is you got to create one of these individually each time and you can only assign it to one device that I know of. So I made this, it's set on my Xbox One X. So it's my main one that I play my games on. Let me delete this one that I set up before as a test. We'll go through and I'll show you how to set one up. If you're going to come back and create one of these things right now. I don't know what that is. I think that may be because I was logged in before and now I'm logged in. Let me just click here and go back. Um, shouldn't have had that. But usually you have to have a password to get in. I just entered my password a few minutes ago, so maybe it's still remembered. Um, so if you go down here and you click on the bottom, configure. What you're going to do is you can see here, these are all the ones I've created. Uh, I'm going to delete this test one because we're going to create a new one here. Sorry about that, my mic keeps connecting and disconnecting down there. Um, we'll go back. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to come in you're going to put in the port numbers that you want. So on the top ones, the one through eight, these ones I found online. So you just put the port number in, or you name it what you want to name it first. I just did Xbox one, two, three, eight, all the way to eight for the standard ones, and then did alternative one. But you're going to put the port number there, and in the range, the beginning and the end, and then down below, the same number. And then the two types of settings, you can just set it for both or one or the other. And the old ones, it would tell you specifically if it was both or one or the other, so I did it the same. This time when I did the alternatives, I just put it on both. I have no idea what those even mean, but I did it exactly the way it showed. So once you do that, you click on this and go back. Now you've created the, the port to tell your router to open it for device. Now you got to tell it what device. You can see there it is on test one up top. There's other games, but these are like old games. Uh, they don't have a Madden, unfortunately. It'd be nice if they did, but they're not. So I, I do Call of Duty, like I said, just because for some reason I heard it helped, so I tried it. I don't know that it hurt, but it works. Um, so what you do is you pick your one you created, and then you get to assign it to your device. You can see up above all mine are assigned to my Xbox One X. Um, and generally, if you have two Xboxes, you're going to have to change the name of one of your Xboxes. Maybe I'll have to do a video to show you how to change the name of your Xbox if you don't know how. Um, but here, what you do is you get to click on the, the setting. Let me delete that. 
and you can down below you tell it which device you want us to, to set it to so you can see the clear name so I've, I've named my Xbox the one I was on earlier my son's Xbox is just called Xbox but if you wanted to um, sign it to the Xbox One X I have to go on the drop down and select to Xbox One X and then you'd hit add and it would bring it up there so I'm not really going to do it again because that's how you do it uh, and this is the last thing the, the pass through so you need to make sure to set the path through into dynamic and hit save ultimately I think this may have done me better than the NAT signing but overall with these two things combined setting my pass through and doing the NATs do the top NATs I wouldn't do the alternatives until your Xbox tells you that that's your alternative port but I'd do the 1 through 8 and the Call of Duty and then do the pass through see if that helps you on your NAT if your NAT still stays strict I would recommend doing the alternative and that and then picking that number and setting it up. So I hope this helps you guys.